Welcome to the groundbreaking celebration for the Martin Gatton Agricultural Sciences Building at the University of Kentucky. And we are also appropriately doing this during National Ag Week. Thank you all for joining us. This event marks a pivotal moment for our college a celebration of a new building dedicated to fostering student success. We are grateful to be surrounded today by so many important partners, including our faculty and staff who share our mission to improve lives in Kentucky. I want to go through recognition of our partners who are here. Uh, if you would hold applause until the end, I would appreciate it. We have from the Board of Trustees, Hubie Ballard, Paula Pope, and Alex Boone. From the Bill Gatton Foundation, we have Danny Dunn, Rob Peel, and his family, Nicole, Luke, and Scarlett. Luke has been on a tour of the Beef Unit and other parts of our college today. We are so honored by the Gatton Foundation's dedication to co our college and Rob and Danny have become woven in, into our community so far and we appreciate you all so much. We also uh, welcome from the UK administration Eli Capaluto, our president Jake Lemon, Joe Reed and Mary Vosevich. We also have in attendance today Noel Novato from Kentucky State University, our land grant partner. We have here our, the Bill Gatton Foundation endowed chairs, Allison Gustafson and Tiffany Messer. We also have members of our Hall of Distinguished Alumni for the college, Drew Graham and Bill Moody. We also have previous leadership, Mike Ritchie who's like a family member of our college and is also like a family member to the Bill Gatton Foundation. We appreciate Mike so much. And Scott Smith, former Dean of the College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, before it got the Martin Gatton name on the front of it. We have our Alumni Association board members, Kim Hinkin, Michaela Manier, Jay Phillips and Will Snell here. From our BEAM partner, for the Beam Institute on our board, Lisa Banner. From the Gluck Foundation board, Jamie Eads. Our commodity group partners, Nikki Whitaker, Whitaker from Kentucky Cattlemen's Association. And Sarah Coleman from the Kentucky Livestock Coalition and the Kentucky Horse Council. Also from Farm Bureau, Larry Clark and Drew Graham who gets double mention. Um, and our architects, BHDP, Kelly Gardner, Al Medina, and Tom Sins, and our Congleton Hacker construction team, Doug Hacker, Cam Campbell Revlet, and Anthony Wicklin, and our dear project manager from UK Capital Projects, Angela Powell. We also have the administrative team and many department chairs from the college along with quite, quite a few faculty and staff. But I'd like to recognize two of our team, my team, who had a lot to do with planning this building, Orlando Chambers and Carmen Agaritas. Let's give everyone a round of applause. Next, I would like to introduce someone who needs no introduction, our 12th president, Dr. Eli Capaluto. Thank you, Nancy, and I want to add my welcome uh, to all our guests who are here. And Nancy, you remind me, it takes everybody to make something magnificent possible. And Danny, I think you'll agree, Mr. Gatton would have loved this day. And he is with us in spirit, and I can feel him as I do almost every day at the University of Kentucky because he reminded us of how dear he held us in this place. 
and how wonderful it is that today the names that mark this fantastic college with its long history are the names of his parents, Edith Martin and Harry W. Gatton, Sr. And I want to thank Danny and Rob and the Gatton Foundation for making our mission part of your mission. The contributions are profoundly impacting our students and programs, leaving an indelible mark on this community. And Nancy, given all the partners you recognize, that community goes to every corner of our Commonwealth. Today's groundbreaking takes place, I want to know how many of you knew this, even you, Nancy. You know what was here, Nancy? What this is the site of? This is the site of the first true experiment station farm for the university. In 1887, immediately after the passage of the Hatch Act, the Kentucky Agricultural Experiment Station purchased 48.5 acres of farmland to use for expanded research. At the time, this land was known as the Strader Place, and it was owned by Dr. Levi Herr. He was a veterinarian and renowned breeder of trotting horses. It was purchased for $17,000. <laughs> and, and it came with a small barn, a big barn, and a brick home that we now refer to as the Cooper House. So today is the groundbreaking. It signifies more than just the construction of a building. It embodies a deep commitment to our legacy and our tradition, to student success, academic excellence, and discovery. On this hallowed and storied ground of the first experiment station, the Martin Gatton Agricultural Sources Sciences Building will serve as the cornerstone of the Martin Gatton College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, providing state-of-the-art facilities and resources to nurture the next generation of agricultural leaders. In addition to 15 state-of-the-art classrooms, the building will house various academic programs, including ag equine, natural resources and environmental science, agricultural and mechanical biotechnology, and pre-vet advising. Additionally, and if you knew Mr. Gatton, this is very, very special. We're proud to announce that the inclusion of an animal companion program reflecting Mr. Gatton's profound appreciation for the human-animal bond and its positive impact on well-being. And guided by the values of Mr. Gatton, this building stands as a proud testament to our commitment to empowering our students who will shape a brighter future for Kentucky. So thank you, all of you, all of us today together made this possible. And thank you for our distinguished college members who are here, and especially to the Bill Gatton Foundation. We appreciate your ongoing entrust so that we can advance Kentucky in everything we do. Thank you. Thank you, President Capilouto. And um, I did not know the price of the farm. I did know we bought the farm um, th where the longest serving dean, T.P. Cooper, served as dean from 1918 until 1951. Dean Scott Smith and I both say that's a very long time to be a dean. <laughs> It's now my privilege to introduce Mr. Danny Dunn, 
trustee of the Gatton Foundation, who worked alongside Mr. Bill Gatton for 35 years. Danny's steadfast commitment to the foundation has been instrumental in furthering its mission of perpetuating Mr. Gatton's generous legacy. I will also what I would also like to add what a pleasure it has been to get to know Danny and Rob as well over time and to begin to understand the great passion of Mr. Bill Gatton for Kentucky and to be honored to carry on his legacy in this college and in this new building. So Danny, please come forward. Good afternoon. I'm not, sh I don't know why uh, Rob and I are so privileged to have this stewardship. Um, but it is an absolute pleasure uh, to do what we're doing to continue to honor Mr. Gatt and all that he did while he lived. Many of you know him, knew him, many of you did, did not. He, uh, he was a, a, a wonderful man. Uh, he became a dear friend to me. So I'm, I'm grateful to be here. Uh, I, uh, I appreciate you all being here. Uh, I will be brief. Um, I want to read two statements that are quotes of Mr. Gatton uh, from a talk he gave in Bristol a number of years ago. He talked about his life on that day and most of us here are associated with this ag college or our farmers. I grew up on a farm. Uh, I wouldn't trade that for experience for anything in this world. Uh, Mr. Gatton loved his life on that farm. I think you'll, you'll catch that spirit as I read these. They're very short. He said, I had a good fortune to be born on a farm and to have a wonderful father mother, brothers, and sister, where I learned the importance of honesty, integrity, and the willingness to put in a long day's work. He went on to say this, a similar statement but different. Growing up on a farm with a mother and father who were fine people was no doubt the beginning of any success I might attain later in life. To me, those are pretty two profound statements about what his farm experience, being born and raised on that farm, uh, meant to him. And I might add, he was literally born, born on the farm in 1932. His father was born on that same farm in 1888. I think the farms go back, Mike, 1600s, I believe, uh, uh, that, that, that they had over there. Last year, I, uh, and I've shared this experience before, um, I crossed through Cumberland Gap into the state of Kentucky. Those of you who were here last year probably remember those comments. And it was at the end of my talk when I shared them. And um, I made a comment um, where I said I heard, I heard a voice. And, uh, and uh, it was Mr. Gatton's voice, and I made a statement. And then I said, and the voice said to me something else, and I repeated that. Well, later that day, my son called me and said, Daddy, I was beginning to get a little bit concerned about you. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad he's not here today because I heard that voice again this morning. I crossed through Cumberland Gap, crossed over the state line, and I was thinking about these comments. And the voice said, and it was Mr. Gatton, I want you to tell them that these three specific things. They're very simple, but they're extremely meaningful. First, Danny, tell them I love the University of Kentucky. Secondly, tell them I love the great commonwealth in which I was born in, raised, received an education, made many friends. He loved this state. 
I mean, I, I probably can appreciate that as much as anybody because of how much time I spent with it. So when those two thoughts came to me this morning, I was not surprised. And then he said, tell them that the, and you've heard this statement before, tell them that the University of Kentucky is without doubt the flagship in this state for learning and for helping this state accomplish what it needs to do to solve its problems and to bless the lives of the people in the state of Kentucky. I want to end with this thought. In 1996, Mr. Gatton gave a talk at the business school graduation here at UK. At the end of that talk, he was telling the students, you know, there are many things that have not yet been done that you will have an opportunity to do, and you need to accept that responsibility and do it. And then he, one of those items, one of those statements was this, there are bridges that have not been built. Now, he gave that talk before the bridge builder poem became so important in his life. But there are bridges that have not, have not been built. This new building is going to be a bridge for students and faculty to accomplish so many wonderful things, to prepare youth to go out to the world and do what Mr. Gatton felt this university should do, and that is to help solve the problems of this great commonwealth. I'm grateful that Mr. Gatton wanted to do what he did regarding this gift to the Passaic College. I'm humbled that Rob and I do have that stewardship. I'm grateful to be here to share these thoughts with you. I hope in some small way through these few comments that you can better appreciate just a little bit Mr. Ganton's great love and appreciation for you, for the university, and for this state. I want Dean Cox to know and the president uh, that we salute them, we support them and their, and their opportunities to serve the way they do and move this university along. Uh, thank you so much and success to all of you. Thank, thank you, Danny, for your incredible work with the Bill Gatton Foundation and for sharing the inspiration that we all feel from Mr. Gatton's legacy. I'm excited to introduce our next speaker who represents the group of people that whose education will be experienced in this building. Leslie Monholland is a sophomore agriculture education student from Williamsburg, Kentucky. As a first generation student, and a recipient of the Martin Gatton Scholarship, Leslie exemplifies dedication and resilience. She serves in many roles as a student ambassador, a student worker with our college's philanthropy and alumni office, and has previously held roles as the Kentucky FFA State Sentinel and Kentucky FFA National Officer. Please help me welcome Ms. Leslie Monholan. Good afternoon. Thank you all so much for joining us in this promise of progress we witnessed today. As we break ground on the new Martin Gatton Agricultural Sciences Building, I stand before you as a first generation sophomore agriculture education student. Um, having witnessed firsthand the endless opportunities and experiences within our college to not only advance, but also enhance educational experiences for each student who has and will one day set foot on our campus. During my time as a student, I've been most impressed by our college's efforts to progress. 
I'm an individual devoted to becoming the best version of myself, and I've seen progress within my own journey thanks to the strong network of people and commitment to education found within the Martin Gatton College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment. As a land-grant university, we're guided by values underlying the land-grant philosophy, those being learning, discovery, and engagement. Choosing to be a part of that mission as a student here at the University of Kentucky means that I not only experience these values daily, but I will one day be able to create a space that welcomes my future students to do the same. I have plans to become an agriculture educator, a career amb ambition that has bloomed within my own background in agriculture. My parents have enjoyed their pursuit in farming um, as we have raised black Angus beef cattle for a majority of my life. Um, I've had some pretty special fond memories on the farm. Uh, I bottle fed my first calf when I was seven years old. Uh, I even castrated my first steer when I was 10. Both very different experiences, um, but, I, but I've learned some really good lessons along the way. <laughs> I spent summer nights working cattle, shared a tractor seat with my dad as we put new hay in the field, um, and watched my brothers vaccinate our livestock. The memories I have growing up in agriculture continue to teach me and so many others countless and valuable lessons. Lessons of hard work and dedication and perseverance after defeat, those are all things that we see in day-to-day -day life, even outside of agriculture. These experiences in the field and agriculture classrooms far and wide, and even now as a college student, have fueled my ambition to create a positive impact in the lives of future agriculture youth. Our college, just like my family farm, has prepared me for this career through a variety of courses and experiences. There's not been a day on campus that I haven't learned something new. There, within our college, even more meaningful to me is how I felt personally throughout my college experience. In class, I know that I'm more than just a field chair. I'm a valued member. Our co as a college ambassador, I'm often asked by prospective students, why here? What made you choose our college? Without hesitation, I always reply, the environment and community found within the Martin Gatt College. Our college works to see every student succeed, as in we are greeted with smiles or a good morning when we open a door. We're surrounded by people that make recommendations, um, and they, these recommendations have opened more doors and experiences that I, than I could have imagined for myself. So it's been an enjoyable experience nonetheless. As I envision my own classroom after graduation, I hope to create this same sense of community. My education here is shaping the kind of educator I hope to be and the quality of experience I can provide for the next generation. My future students will know what it means to be valued. They will understand their opportunities and I'll continue to practice the land grant values that have been so deeply ingrained to me within our college. As we break ground on this new teaching space, I realize that I may no longer be a student when the doors open, but I recognize the privilege it is to see the progress um, created today progress that will create a space for students, hopefully some of my own, to learn, discover, and engage daily. They will engage themselves in ways that will transform and develop the future of our college campus. This space will one day be a building where a student will find a forever friend, share a meal, prepare for an exam, listen to a lecture, or even change their life. This space will allow students to not only be a college student, but it will show them the uniquely special experience of being a student within the Martin Gatton College. As a proud student before you today, I know that I'm a better student, friend, employee, colleague, and overall person because of the Martin Gatton College community. Through time, talents, and treasures, I've seen our college go above and beyond. My professors devote themselves to teaching in creative ways, my peers have challenged me to rise to the occasion. And through the generosity and philanthropy of donors like Mr. Gatton, I have been able to experience college in both an inspiring and liberating way. As a current Bill Gatton Foundation Scholarship recipient, I continue to grow in my appreciation and admiration for Mr. Gatton's efforts to help undergraduate students like me create a way to give back to not only agriculture, but the Commonwealth. These gifts have given, given to me and so many others through Mr. Gatton's legacy reflect the lifelong work of an individual who sincerely cared and was devoted to making an impact. This groundbreaking signifies the shared values of Mr. Gatton in our college. Our college, which is rooted in advancement and for nearly 160 years has continually worked toward progressing our mission. This new space honoring Mr. Gatton 
Mr. Gatton's parents, is a physical symbol of the Gatton family's commitment to agriculture, education, and advancement. Education, I believe, is the great equalizer. It equips and encourages us to pursue what's wildly possible. It's my hope that as we see the Martin Gatton Agricultural Science Building take shape and open its doors, we'll be reminded of the meaningful work that will advance learning, discovery, and engagement within its walls. I know that current and future generations of students will see these advancing groups as their promise of progress, and the shared commitment of our college and Mr. Gatt and Mr. Gatton to educating the student, to the next generation of agriculture leaders within our Commonwealth. Thank you all. Thank you, Leslie. Your commitment to your education and community is inspiring and I have a chance to give you a piece of advice that I never thought I'd give from a podium it may be useful later in life occasionally for you to let people know you know how to do that surgery on a male calf <laughs> <laughs> Dean, Smith, Dean Smith will remember this <laughs> not, not in a bad way <laughs> On that note, it's now time to break ground for the Martin Gatton Agricultural Sciences Building. We're just out behind me, behind the tent. Thank you all for being here.